Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you all four of the new Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipsticks. So I got all four shades. I got Velvet Intrigue, Petal, Velvet Blush Lightly and Velvet Cinnabar. On my lips at the moment I have a mix of three colours. I will let you know in the description below what they are. Um, I wanted to wear something bespoke for the intro. Now these four lipsticks I have done a reel on so you can see them in natural light. I have swatched all of the lipsticks that I own and that are comparable to these four. So Velvet Morning, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Affair, Velvet Fawn, all that type of thing. Some are still available on Lisa Eldridge's website. I shall link that down below. Go ahead and have a look. And I do you natural light swatches as always, and I do you hand swatches as always. Very briefly about the packaging, the lipsticks still come in the beautiful Lisa Eldridge gold carton or cartridge, and the bullet is velvetized. So by that, what I mean is the lipstick has a velvet ribbed style body to it, which is very unique indeed of a lipstick that I own. I have tons of shades here. All of the ones that I own, as I said, will be swatched for you. I will be doing a lot more focus on Instagram for you guys because it's quicker and easier for me when the children are asleep. A quick roundup of what I have on my skin and then we'll get straight into it. So I have my e.l.f primer on which is the um, putty primer then I mixed born this way in natural beige and bd51 in my chanel Le beige foundation to get this finish on my eyes I have the new Natasha Denona retro palette I have mixed three lipsticks velvet dragon velvet jazz and velvet cinnabar uh, to get this lipstick look I was just playing around with them on my cheeks I have my Glossier heat solar paint and I have buffed it out with a hula contourist the quad that I have No highlight for me today and uh, just normal mascara. So guys, let's get into the video Towards the end of the video, I decided I would like to do a Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway so what I would like you to do is um pick the colour that you like, as long as it's in stock, I'm going to pick a lucky winner to win a Lisa Eldridge lipstick. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, which is the sunny edit underscore, and then uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I might do these, I think I could do quite a few towards Christmas as well. So one lucky winner, name your colour that you want and I will buy that for you as a gift if you are the lucky winner chosen at random. I'll put the details down below. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, I did get my uh, the free sample of the Lisa Eldridge foundation. Now, I got 13 to 16. I'm going to do this in a separate video because I did my full makeup for you guys uh, for the lipsticks. So we'll do a separate video on this today as well. So guys, this is Velvet Blush, just here, and this is Velvet Blush Lightly. So, quite a big difference. I'll swatch them for you in a moment and I will try it on. So guys, now that we've discussed a little bit, compared and looked at swatches, Let's try on the first lipstick. So I'm going to start naturally with the lighter shade. Let's get it on. So the beautiful shade Velvet Intrigue. Right, I will tell you why I love this, because this to me is a pale nude 
that you want without looking like you're wearing concealer from the 90s. It was a little thing that we used to do school, college time and um, you would put concealer all over your lips and it would just look dead. Um, but this has a beautiful hint of nude peach. That's really gorgeous. Let's go and have a look at this in natural light. So this is Velvet Intrigue. It's the lightest of all four shades and I absolutely adore it. So guys, I shall swatch Velvet Intrigue for you. Here we go because you can see the lightness already. I think Velvet Petal is the next lightest one, so let's go ahead with that. I've got um, the Velvet Beauty lip liner. I, As I said, I didn't get the lip liners this time because I'm just focusing on the lipsticks. The quality is still fantastic. The formula is brilliant. Wow, I have to say that is delicate like a petal. Here we go. So side by side on those, intrigue and petal. Let's go and have a look at this in natural light. Velvet intrigue and petal. So let's have a look where we can take this with a little bit of Velvet Beauty, um, sorry, Beauty Lip Pencil. Just very lightly in case you have this. There we go. Instantly more definition and um, a little bit more plumping, but um, it doesn't show up with harsh lines. So let's try on the next two shades. There's the Velvet Beauty or the Liner Beauty um, as a shade reference for you. Intrigue and Petal again. So now we have left Velvet Blush Lightly and Velvet Cinnabar. Velvet Cinnabar is one of my favourite shades that I have seen um, in this four shade intro. So Velvet Blush Lightly And there you have Velvet Blush Lightly. There's Velvet Blush Lightly and Velvet Blush. Let's have a look at this in natural light. And here are the two side by side. Here you go guys. So I believe it's a lighter version uh, that was requested by everybody. The one on the far right is the original blush and the one to the left of it is Velvet Blush Lightly. Right guys, now for the Pièce de Résistance. I have been waiting for this shade because I love the fact that it was used for Vermilion. Now Vermilion is also known as Sindur. It's what Indian ladies wear um, in their parting on their heads for um, blessings and for the longevity of life of their husbands. Um, I am married, I am Indian and it's something I have seen my mother do, my grandmother um, when I was a little girl and I used to always want to do it. Um, it's something I do for special occasions, it's not something I do um, in everyday life but especially Diwali which is coming up um, I do put on a sindur or vermilion um, to represent the fact that I am married, I wear it proudly, uh, it's part of my culture and um, the fact that cinnabar used to be used as that, it's very close to my heart. So I was very excited about this shade. Oh, I don't want to 
don't want to ruin it. Over on Instagram, I will do all the shade comparisons again for you. Oh, wow. I think I want to wear this every day. This is my favourite shade. It's an iconic rusty shade if there ever was one. Oh, I adore this. Um, right guys, let's get this swatched for you. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna put next to it a Velvet Dragon. Um, completely different. Com let's put next to it Velvet Jazz. Yeah, these shades are in a league of their own, guys. Um, let me try. Let me try Velvet Morning. Yeah, guys, this isn't. Look, this is um, Cinnabar. This is going to look absolutely gorgeous on everybody. Let's go and have a look at this in natural light. Actually, this with as a bit of blush would be insanely gorgeous. Let's get a bit of this on, blush wise. Oh no, no, I'll do it afterwards. Let's go and have a look at this in natural light. Here we are guys, my favorite shade, Velvet Cinnabar. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's rich, it's unctuous, it's, oh, it's decadent. That's my favorite word when I'm uh, actually talking about Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Lipsticks. It feels sensational on the lips. Here are all the swatches, guys. So um, I'll put a little star where Velvet Cinnabar is. Hey everyone, so my final thoughts. These lipsticks are an absolute win. I own all of them. I don't have the summer collection, the skyscraper shades, you know, the first set of the summer but I own every single, I think I don't have Velvet Myth, so I think I need to get that. But these lipsticks are gorgeous. They're perfect gifts. Uh, that's Velvet Dragon. <laughs> this one is Velvet Cinnabar. These are so decadent. Um, I get a lot of use out of Velvet Ribbon, even though Max put his finger into it when he was one. Um, they're my go-to after a few other brands that I love. Um, these are a special piece of history in the making and by that I mean we have Lisa Eldridge who's been a makeup artist for so many years she's genuine she's a beautiful person and she has products that she does insanely well after this I'll be doing a swatch video I ordered 13 14 and 15 and 16 I think depending on which foundations I got sampled um, I'm doing a separate video on that because I wanted to focus just on the lipsticks um, I absolutely adore these. Go ahead and get them as soon as you can. Don't don't walk, run for these. Um, I always plan my day on the launches around the 4 p.m. Uh, release date. Um, I can't I can't get over my favourite shade, which is Velvet Cinnabar. Um, just for shade reference, people who have my skin tone, uh, Velvet Intrigue isn't too pale. I think any darker than me, it might start to get pale, but you can use your lip liners to create that sort of dimension. Um, in terms of Velvet Petal, it is exactly what it says. It's velvety, it's a petal in nature, it's very light, it's very soft. Um, and then Velvet Blush Lightly. Now, even though Velvet Blush for me wasn't too dark, I did feel, oh, if this was lighter, it would have been even nicer. So I have both now. And um, yeah, I think all of these blotted on because on Instagram next, I'm going to show you this blotted on. Velvet Cinnabar just really stained onto the lips is going to look sensational. So I can't stress it enough, guys. I love these. Get them on your Christmas list. Um, actually, if you want, actually, I think maybe we could do a Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway. Let me know in the comments below what colour you want. If it's in stock, let's have that giveaway. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, with a busy schedule at home, I will be filming more. My vlogs are coming back. Um, the boys, Touchwood, are over their colds, but uh, it's just about making that time. 
and uh, of course I really appreciate you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one